our two farmer boys are heading out to do a little bit of field work. We've been cleaning out the pasture manure and spreading it on this hay field that is on the far north edge and we've done some when there was still snow. They did some last week and there's some big clumps. Um, a tether is one way to break them up. He's going to use a spike tooth drag. You said it's 16 foot? Mm -hmm. And that'll just kind of help spread it out and pulverize it a little more evenly because it's pretty wet manure um, while this spring growth is starting in. So when you were farming hay fields instead of corn fields and beans, there's other things that you can be doing to help your crop. And these guys like to farm, so they're running what tractor today? 70 diesel. Okay. so that when we get the next rain and it just kind of helps groom it all just like you do your yard with your uh, dethatching or thatching in the spring and make it all groomed and nice. So I guess he's gonna do the area where we did where it snowed and then get up here where dad has been spread manure in the last week. So we still got some loads to do but I don't think he wanted to go in the pasture today because of the wetness from yesterday morning. So just switching over to this because the sod base, you know, you don't get stuck where the backhoe's wanting to get stuck in the mud and the manure. surprise this morning. I saw this cow yesterday and said her udder's looking big. And a baby was born this morning. Yeah, yeah. Hi there. I'm just traveling. 
He's a few hours old. It's about one in the afternoon right now. Yeah. This one's her mom. This one's her dad. Yeah. And this one's her sister. bull that was out there. Not a good time of year to be moving bulls around. They're wanting to reestablish their ranking. So the female cows are getting moved to the barn for nursery pens is what we were intending on doing. He thought he would clean up the bulls and send them off or whatever, but it just ended up a bigger wet mess because I'm not comfortable getting in the pens with the bulls. So Trace is spreading manure today, and we're supposed to get a rain this afternoon, so this is a perfect time and hustle of doing all this, because yesterday was warm, but the barn was cool. So 80 degrees didn't mean anything because I was in the shade, but the pile, holy cow, he figures it's going to be two loads of manure, possibly the start of a third, and then we'll move this tractor and be able to work on this pen during the week. All right, so that pile of manure is all spread out. They even hooked up the spike tooth drag again and spread it out on the field. This is a little baby. We've been kind of thinking about a name for her. Bethany wants to call her Julie. And then they came up with some other names, but she has got to be the smallest calf that has been born here. And her mom is kind of on the small side but she's not that small little baby was out on the pasture we had taken the bulls that were in this pen and he didn't think about the timing of it because the divider fence was down and the bulls were running her all around trying to set the ranking again because there was one bull out there and then he's a bull the two here were bulls and basically they were keeping mom and baby on their feet instead of resting. This little girl's eyes were just beet red this morning. So she's been resting and eating, getting her milk, uh, going for baby here. So she's finding it. It's coming along. So she's probably real good and thirsty, real happy wagging her tail there. So good cow names, leave them in the comments below. Everybody always has such great names. Um, they had thought of Rosie. I thought Midge, because <laughs> she's so small, and we thought Half Pint, Bethany used to watch uh, Little House on the Prairie a lot, she thought that was cute, so yeah, she's she's getting it, oh, I kicked the shovel here and made her stop to look at me, yeah, she's got that nudging with her nose down, yeah. It's always good to see them drinking milk and know that they're doing okay because you always worry if mom and calf are going to do okay and see how their situation is going. So it was a good day to get them moved. It was saying thunderstorms around 3 today. They're getting moved off till around 5. So we're going to hold off on moving the bull out of here until maybe tomorrow or the next day and kind of see how the weather goes. But it's always really hard to see. A little calf being born in the spring or in the winter part of the spring when that snow is flying. The other calf got moved in here. It was starting to rain and snow and do sleet in that day or two. So now he is about 40 days old and he's doing really well. He's just double, triple her size. So we'll give you updates on all these cows and girls and cattle and everything else going on the farm. So until then, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Share with anybody you like. You can always just copy the link in the little share section, send it an email or text to a friend, and then they get to watch the video too. So until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.